What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG unboxing. Today we're going to be opening up the Arceus V-Star Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, this is one sick product. I already took the wrapper off, but I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful this is. And all the box itself is really high quality. It feels really nice, uh, the cardboard they used on it. And we're just going to slide it right out and take a look at the inside. Oof, look at that. That is one cool product. All right, so Pikachu is a little bit in the way, so we're gonna move him out of the way for now. So is Charizard. But look at that box. It should just open up right from the top. And there we go. Everything about it is so premium, so nice. I actually like it a lot. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be a fan of it or not. And let's take a look at these metal cards. Ooh, they're heavy. All right, here they are. They look like regular cards on the surface, but they actually are metal Pokemon cards. Uh, not too bad quality wise, pretty heavy honestly, have some nice heft to them. I do wish they would have come out with some new designs, uh, this is kind of lame using the regular Arceus V-Star and Arceus V um, artworks from Brilliant Stars, but still a pretty cool product nonetheless. I'll probably see these up in some penny sleeves in a second. Alright, here are our penny sleeves, they should fit pretty heavy for these thin sleeves, but that's okay. Um, I do wish they would have at least used the alternate art designs. Uh, for these things would have been a lot nicer, a lot classier, but that is all right. Looking at the rest of the contents of the box, let's get these out of the way real quick. We have a bunch of packs in here, should be 15 to be exact. So there's our first set of five, another five, that's 10 out of five. Yep, so 15 packs. In here should be our metal dice and <clears throat> coin. There we go. So we have a V-Star acrylic marker, not cool at all. We have a metal coin in here, which I'm going to take out right now if I can get it open. There we go. And this one looks even cooler than the Charizard one. Look at that. I Honestly, I like it a lot. Big fan of these metal coins. I wish they came out with them more often and didn't save them only for premium collections, but that is nice. We'll gladly add that to our little collection. And then we have the metal dice in here. Surprisingly, we don't have a... Uh, there's no metal um, status markers uh, in this one. And last, but certainly not least, is a playmat. Uh, this one is not too cool, honestly, but I will open it up for you guys so you can take a look. Um, I'm a little bit torn in design. I think I think it's nice, but it's a little basic. It's just an Arceus kind of flying through space. Uh, the colors are really nice. I like that, but other than that, it's a pretty basic playmat. Pokemon logo is pretty small on this side, and then a bigger one up on the top left. But overall. This is a really cool box and the packaging on it is phenomenal. Gonna start off with the Vivid Voltage. I think this is the only Vivid that came in this box. I'd rather get that out of the way first um, since it's not the most exciting set anymore. Also, I should mention, those Arceus cards are our first metal Pokemon cards. Of course, the only other ones that have come out have been the Charizard, the base set Charizard and base set Pikachu uh, reprint as a metal card. We unfortunately weren't able to get a hold of that one. We tried so hard to get the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection but we came out very unlucky. Uh, we tried on multiple drops, both online and in person. We were waking up at like seven in the morning in order to go sit outside GameStop. Uh, but every time we missed it by just a little bit. So we still don't have those cards in our collections. We might end up buying them as singles, but for now we're just waiting. Uh, but we will gladly add those as our first metal cards. Teddy or so, Mantine, Voltorb, Driflim, and Reggie Gigas. I don't know if you guys checked it out, but there is a new leak for a brand new Regigigas alternate art card that will be in the next Pokemon TCG set. It looks awesome. It's pulling like, I think, continents behind it or something. It is very cool. Right into Evolving Skies. If you guys have not been keeping up with the Pokemon prices uh, lately, Evolving Skies alternate arts have gone through the roof. I think the uh, Umbreon is worth around like the cheapest price on the market is like $500 or something. Uh, based on TCG Player, which is absolutely ridiculous. So if we can pull one of those, that'll more than pay for this box. Oops. Carvana, I grabbed a bunch of cards. Bergmite, Snowleaf Badge, and a non hollow as usual. Right into pack number four, I'm gonna be going pretty fast through these. Also, if you guys can tell, I'm pretty congested uh, right now. I've been sick for a couple days now. That sucks. My cards are backwards. Uh, I've been sick for a couple days now. And, uh, what was I saying? What's my train of thought? Oh, yeah. I've been super congested. been taking, like, allergy pills and decongestion pills, but so far, it's only helped a little bit. So hopefully I'll get over this soon. We have Snow Reverse Hollow and Garchomp Hollow. Right into our fifth pack, Brilliant Stars. 
so many cards we need from here, so many good cards we could pull. Um, so let's see if we can change our luck around. We did pick this up this morning. I'm filming this the same day that we picked it up from GameStop. We had a pre-order out for this, and we were super excited. We woke up pretty early, went over there. They had our pre-order ready for us, picked it up, and now we're opening it up. Halucha Reverse Hollow, and Garchomp Hollow again. Nothing good. Pack number six. This is our second um, $100 opening uh, recently that we've done. We did the Ultra Premium Collection for the Charizard. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you do. It'll probably be in the description or as a, as a card at the end of this video. It was a really cool opening, and now we're doing this one. So definitely going to go broke by the end of the month, that's for sure. We need less of these kinds of products. Orbeal Reverse Hollow and bar bar Barbarical, sorry, Barbarical Hollow. What's up guys, live streaming Pikachu here. If you guys watch the streams, you already know who I am. We stream Tuesdays and Sundays, but right now we're opening some TCG. Let's hope we get good luck. All right, there's the code. If you guys are interested in watching the streams, uh, we play games. Currently we're finishing our sword playthrough, but the new game is releasing very soon and I will be playing Pokemon Violet day one it comes out. And we got Stone Journey non hollow. On to a brilliant stars pack. Uh, we usually stream Tuesdays and Sundays if you guys are interested in that, so make sure you tune into those. Let's hope we can get some hits in this box. Not the greatest luck so far, but I'm sure we're gonna turn that around. We got Blunder Policy, Luxio, Hitmon Top, Electabuzz, Alucha, Buizel. Can we get a character rare? Magmore Reverse Hollow, and in the back, Scavalier Non Hollow. On to another Brilliant Stars pack. Going for that Alt Art Charizard, Alt Art Arceus, maybe even the Full Art Charizard would be incredible. But, oh, there's a code card, and we know what it is. As you know, the Pikachus don't have the greatest luck. Maybe today will be another story. Right, we got Staryu, Burmy. Sock, Cherubi, Ryolu, Shroomish Reverse Hollow on the back, Sinister V. Don't like it, but I'll put him in a sleeve anyway. Alright, what's up guys? I am back and hopefully sounding a little less congested. Yes, I can already hear the boos in the comments. Boo, bring live streaming Pikachu back. Well, too late. Already kicked him out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that though. One thing I think you forgot to mention where the live streams usually happen around 9 p.m. Oops, sometimes a little later, sometimes a little earlier, but they will be Tuesdays and Sundays. Usually we do Pokemon Showdown battles against the viewers on Tuesdays, and on Sundays it will be Pokemon Sword casual playthroughs until the new Violet game comes out. Magnemite Reverse Hollow and a Garchomp V. That's only our second real hit of the video. Um, unfortunately, we have gotten a bunch of hollows, so like our odds are good as usual, but of course we want V-cards are better, so the hollows don't really help. And surprisingly, even though we have all these packs here which could have alternate arts, or er, character rares, we haven't gotten a single character rare yet today. Lost Origin. I think this one has... I, I might be mistaken, but I think this one has the Aerodactyl alternate art that is my favorite card in this set. <clears throat> I want it so bad. Maybe bad enough to actually pull it in this opening right now. Horsey, Bronzor, Tynamo, C Dot, Horsey again, Greedent, oh, and a Rotom V full art. Not an alternate art, but we will take it at least as a step up. It's finally a higher tier pull. So look at that. And I do love full arts. They're very clean looking, very simple, minimalistic. They're nice. Right into Astral Radiance. Uh, Honestly, this set has been out for a while. I'm already forgetting what kind of cards come in here, but I think you want to get the uh, alternate art Polkia or Dialga cards. Even though I don't like their origin forms, uh, you still kind of you kind of want to go for the big hits, obviously. Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Regice, and <sighs> nothing. First try. Only three packs left. This is our last Evolving Skies pack. I think we only have two total. Um, we'd love to pull something big. In the last pack, the code card was upside down. Will it be again? Oh, look at that. Learning. One, two, three, four. To the front. Starting it off with a... 
Oops. Water energy. Pyroar. Herdier. Shopping center. Rug and roller. Ruffler. Dwebble. Nicket. Cryogonal. Chin Chow Reverse Hollow. <sighs> Never any luck with Evolving Skies. We even opened like an ECB for it. We got nothing. Um, pretty rough. Then there were two. Let's start off with Astral Radiance. Getting a little nervous here. Not a big deal. You already know with this kind of stuff, you're never, you're never likely to make your money back. At least not in the long run. But just for it to be more fun, it would be nice to get a couple more hits. Um, we haven't pulled an alternate art since our one video where we did the Dave and Buster's pack opening, and that was probably like six months ago. So not changing that anytime soon, I guess. Last pack of the video. I really hope you guys enjoy the video so far. Also, I forgot to bring these guys back on screen. This is our Charizard VMAX from the premium collection that we opened. And this is our Pikachu from that celebration box that we opened. I do like to keep them in the background. I think they're nice. Uh, last pack. Let's get into it. <clears throat> we have been up uploading regular videos like this a little less frequently lately. Um, that's because we're trying to focus a little more on shorts. Uh, people seem to like the short form content a lot. And then we want to do just bigger openings when we do open. So that's why it's like a $100 opening. Last one was a $120 opening. I think it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch us open 15 packs rather than us only opening 5 packs at a time. There's a hit at the end, but it does seem like a regular V card. Look at that. Not a single character rare out of 15 packs, most of which could have had character rares. Alright, it's a full art. Hisuian Electrode V. At least it's not another V card. It is a full art, which is pretty good. But no alternate arts and no character rares for the day. Uh, stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys the hits that we got. Unfortunately, that this brings to the end of today's video. I'm going to let you show off the hits for the day. And I do want to mention that if we include the uh, Charizard box from the last opening and we add it to this box, we basically opened an entire booster box worth of packs and we didn't get any, uh, any alternate arts. I don't even think we got a rainbow or anything of that sort of value. These are our metal cards, of course. Um, and of course, that's not even including all the uh, probably hundreds of other packs we've opened on this channel, only to get one uh, character or one alternate card. If you guys did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like. It helps us out a ton. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're getting really close to 1,000 subscribers, and of course, we will have a giveaway and a big opening at that point. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you somehow had worse luck than us, comment down below because I find it a little hard to believe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.